You sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt! When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Need to find an egg. Preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me, what will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. Stand back. I'll take you. Eggs fell on a moss patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Think so. Now, what must I do? You need to concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna Gan Drao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gan Drao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao, Muna Finarat. Muana Gandrao, Muana Finarat. to thank Guillaume. He's the one hired me. To help you. Yes. I'm grateful to him as well, immensely. Will you tell him so for me? 
should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. Sure, I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. Lona. I work from dawn to dusk's last light. Then give my wife a good. Wish I was a boy. I pledge my love to win the tourney with your name. Geralt, what a Vivian. Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? Vivian chose what suited her best. She's completely free now. And happy, I think. Without me. You helped her. But that doesn't mean she owes you her love. Got this bard friend, philosopher too, I guess, amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. I Thus eat take you. the prophet Leviosa. Yes, Witcher. Witcher act always. Well, well. The one and only Geralt. The bridge, his crest, graces my establishment. What do you need, sir? Be so kind as to show me what you have to sell. So long. Did you care, sir? Our sweet shining sun. A fruitful hunt. during the day. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. 
You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots, go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? A witcher, and I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well, which is all the same to me. Blat! Blat! We'll break your legs, fragrant! Teach you! Lost your nerve? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Scallywack killed four finger slats! What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast, on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men? What are they doing? Nothing, really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out, though. Uh-huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lot, that's another matter. You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Come on. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamp. A seat, sir, please. So then... Who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand, with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And, if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. Alright, let's see if we can't figure something out. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. of the question. Quite simply, no. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. 
I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron, gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No, but you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does all this for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort, and piles more coin. I am prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Red door. One that Boot Black mentioned. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? Skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Recently, his scent is still strong. Let's look around. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. This is his nest. Woman's light look around. Bit smudged. This is lover? I don't rightly know. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though.
Zedlaf van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Detlove have any enemies? Indeed. Detlove gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renawed? It's one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Even if Renoed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Tools were used recently. Detlaf unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really now, Geralt, must you? Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi. Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de La Croix. Detlaf's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. All of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlaf's innocence, clearly. Not how 
I put it. Doubt it's how the Duchess will see it either. I trust you to convince her. And then... What? Go on, don't be shy. See, you've got it all figured out, including the grin I gotta wear. It's a rather bold plan, but... Were we to find Renawed, we would strip the blackmailers of their hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm, could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Something's in the wind. To be honest, every last man Jack in these parts has but wine and women on the fray. A lucky break. That's the only reason you won the great talk. Have you ever seen a fruit fairy? Your grace. Mm. Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived, and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you returned with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! <laughs> your Grace, I shall assemble a batue. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Whoa, this is work for a Witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a Witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best, 40 hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekamaras, Catacans, for instance. 
They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Hire vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her Grace summons a Witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Hire vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mmm. Mmm, yes. Yes. The, the west bank of the saint Tour. That, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. saint Real. The 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. Song real. Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the Ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. Wait. Your Grace wants to go with me? Out of the question.
I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. Have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. 